Welcome to Fish Annie Gems. Today we'll be getting in to the Mushy Editor. A very, very quick overview of it, okay? We're not going to get too into detail. We're going to do this slowly. Make sure everything works for you. And so if you have questions, let me know. But this is the start of the Mushy Editor part of the Pippi Mod tutorials. I'm super excited. So this episode is going to be a quick overview of the Mushy Editor. You show you what you get at the start and um, see how things are set up for it. Let's get started. Okay, now as a reminder, you have to be an admin or have Mushy Editor access, okay? Uh, you walk up to your thespian. Uh, in this case, I'm holding E. Uh, I have I had the interactive GUI kind of disabled, so we'll re-enable it so it's easier to see. We click Launch Mushy Editor, and this is what you get. I'm super excited about this. Okay, all right, this is what you get. Um, right click, right click allows you to drag your arrow around just so you can see what's going on. All right. And then if you left click this uh, node here, you can move it. If you right click on it, you're just dragging the screen. All right. This is an origin node. Every thespian will have an origin node. You cannot delete it. You can move it. Um, but everything's attached um, in some form to this node right here. Okay. Let's start with the about page. You click the about page, you get this. It's about Mushy Editor, the creator. Um, it's a visual scripting. I love this. It's an awesome tool. And of course, you get a little funny thing where it asks which way the logo is spinning. And then, of course, the close um, button kind of jumps all over the place for you. And we got a cute little cookie monster thing. It's adorable. I love it. <laughs> all right. You click the help page, it's going to send you to a PDF um, for the Mushy Editor system. It's a very, 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 very basic um, information, so keep that in mind. Uh, lookups, you can do ID lookups. Uh, give it a sec, it's items. It's item ID lookups, so you can look it up and copy and paste and so on and so forth. Uh, local character... Ooh, sorry. Local variable lookup. Um, I have none because this is a fresh start thing. And then, of course, your global variable lookup. Okay. And then we'll we'll get into details of all of this later. Okay. And then under file, you can hit new. You can save. Control N is new. Control S is save. Save often or you might lose your stuff, it will automatically um, save to that thespian. Okay, emphasis on this. It saves to the thespian. Local script storage. You click this. This is how you save the entire script you're working on. I would save often, again, just keep saving. <laughs> um, you can do a temporary save, just say temp save and just use that as an overwrite until you're done and then you can um, actually really click on really um, name the saves okay uh, but that way you have the local save and you're good to go you can generate or load a multi string this um, allows you to share your um, your mushy stuff your mushy editor Oh my god, I can't think of what it's called. Scripts. There you go. You can load a template. This helps you get started. It kind of gives you an idea of what each thing does. Bounce node, randomize, weight, action, so on and so forth. Um, you can also close. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't need to save. Um, every time you change the mushy editor, and you hit save and you hit exit you must hit apply and then close okay so we go here 
Ugh. Try not to have your guys like super close <laughs> to a wall or something, because that's sometimes a little irritating. Um, and then the most important statement, origin node. I'll say this again. Everything is attached to the origin node in some form. Whether it's the last thing, it closes the dialogue. It, it's somehow attached to this origin node. This is where everything starts, okay? This is where everything starts. Okay, guys, that was the quick overview of the mushy editor start mushy editor menus, okay? Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget, stay shiny. And I'll see you guys all next time.